Let's talk quickly about the company benefit of running a salary sacrifice scheme. Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel folks, JD here again with another quick car finance related video for you. If you're new to the channel, this channel is all about saving you money basically and introducing you to facts and figures and different ways of purchasing and leasing cars and that kind of thing. If you ever want to ask me a question, you can fling me an email here and if you'd like a copy of any spreadsheets which I use, today we're going to be looking at the salary sacrifice spreadsheet but I also have a... PCP spreadsheet which enables you to compare different deals and when you can get out of a particular deal and voluntary termination and settlement points and that kind of thing do fling me an email and for a one-off donation of £10 you get a copy but on to today's video then so what I don't think I've really talked about in the past is what financial benefit is there for an employer to offer a salary sacrifice scheme especially when it's related to evs well not only does it incentivize staff it makes electric vehicles far more affordable especially if you get an all-in-one maintained car um, but also because uh, you are salary sacrificing your employee is salary sacrificing an element of their salary that means that you are technically paying them a lower taxable salary which means you in turn as an employer can save money on national insurance contributions so what i want to do is just nip over to this spreadsheet so this is the spreadsheet that i'm using today we're currently on version 2.6 a new version of this will be coming out in april when they've finalized new allowances personal allowance is staying i think at 1257 l but but there is some talk at the moment as to whether the national insurance hike of 1.25% is going to come in or not. So I'm just waiting. Uh, and when I hear news on that for definite, I shall update this spreadsheet. Um, if you would like a copy of this, please do fling me an email um, just here. Um, and I'll tell you how you can get a copy. Anyway, so what I wanted to do is a box which I haven't talked about is, if I can find the right window, is over here. So the company national insurance and the company NI saving and I'll talk briefly about this box as well so let's take a very simple example let's say we've got a standard tax code 1257 now we'll ignore pensions and student loans and that kind of thing for now let's say we've got a gross salary of 40,000 pounds and normally that would give us a net pay of around 2571 okay so 457 pounds in income tax and £304 in employee national insurance and £358 in employer national insurance that we as an employer have got to pay as well. But if we were to offer a scheme and let's say we were going to... I don't know, let's say it's an ID3. This isn't an accurate amount, but let's say it's £400 a month. So times 12, that would be... £4,800 salary sacrifice to lease a car. That means the employee salary for tax and NI purposes is now 35200 which means down here, we'll ignore company car tax for now, the tax has now been reduced by £80 and the national insurance has been reduced by £48. But if you look here, we're also going to save 13.8% of the amount sacrificed, which is £55.20. So again, another good reason to set up an electric vehicle salary sacrifice scheme is not only because it makes them more affordable, incentivizes your staff, it also means that you can make a saving as well. Now, there's nothing to stop you, if you wish, passing some of that saving on. You don't have to, obviously, but a feature which I'm not sure I've ever demonstrated on these videos is that I have got a box there that enables you to pass on a proportion of the saving. So it might be that you go, OK, we're going to pass on 50 percent of that saving onto the employer as well. Sorry, onto the employee as well. So if I put 50 percent in there, look, we are going to pass on £27.60 per month. That's gross onto the employee salary. So they're probably going to be about another £20 a month better off, £18 a month, probably something like that, because they're still going to pay tax and NI on the NI saving, if you so to me. 
Now let's not forget, and I haven't put this on this spreadsheet, I will do for the new update, that there is a small amount of company national insurance to be paid on the benefit. And that's where the P11D value comes in. So let's say we've got a £32,000 ID3 and let's make it for this current year. So this year it's 1% benefiting kind. From next year up until 2025, it's 2%, but let's put 1% in there. So 1% of 32,000 is 320 pounds. So for the employee, that basically means 320 pounds is gonna come off their tax code. In this case, they're a 20% taxpayer, so they're gonna pay an extra 20% of 320 pounds, which is 64 pounds. So they're gonna pay about five pounds a month um, in company car tax. As an employer, we have to pay 13.8% of £320, which is, uh, what's that going to be? 320 times 0.138, so about £44 a year, okay? So about £3.68 in company national insurance on the benefit. Obviously, that will double when company car tax on the EV goes to 2%. OK, so you could kind of, you know, add that bit on and then maybe make a bit of a compromise and work out that you're going to pass a bit on. But you don't have to. If that's set to nothing, you can see that as an employer in this particular example, we're going to save £55.20, but we've got to pay about four quid on the benefits. So probably going to be about £50 a month better off. So I just want to touch base on that because I don't think it's really anything I've covered before. Um, I hope that was useful. As I said, do fling me an email here if you're after a copy of this spreadsheet or the other spreadsheet. You can buy me a coffee here if you want. Two or three people have already done that, which is really appreciated. Um, if you haven't already done so and if you like what you're seeing, please do subscribe. Please give the video a thumbs up and a like um, and hit that bell uh, notification. Um, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Take care.